Scythe. Tales from the Void. Oh look, it's the Powerpuff bitch again. I see your superhero landing is still as appealing as ever. One could say, that pose really makes your ass pop. I'm afraid you're too late this time, darling. Look at you, the blaze of hope, the fire of justice. Your shining light of stomach-churning goodness cannot be seen if one is blind. And soon the whole world will be just that, smothered in darkness. My legion of sin are so close to finally achieving our goal, and your light will not guide the filthy vermin masses through this darkness. Because your light will be smothered out under our boots. What? You've already defeated the members of my legion? Oh, you're taking the piss! Well, that's not how you set up a good villainous plot. I'm supposed to tell you the plan, and then escape, leaving you flustered and frustrated. You then fly around trying to take down my legion as they work towards their respective tasks that contributes towards our world domination. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ember. How many times have we done this? You really know how to kill my villainous vibe, don't you? Sick of playing the same old game, eh? Thought you defeat my men, and then finally smash my head in. Good luck, sweetheart. I am the mastermind behind all of this. My legion are merely pawns. You may have gotten plenty of XP points from defeating my legion, but I am head and shoulders above the rest. What? Not at my current height, I'm not. Are you calling me a little man? Rude. I meant figuratively head and shoulders above them, since Galdok is literally a nine-foot monstrosity. Don't laugh! Just because you're the same height as me when laying on your front. No, I'm not saying you have a big belly, I'm saying you have huge knockers! Your superhero costume compliments them greatly. See? You insult my height, and I return it with a compliment. Who's the evil one now? You suppose being average height isn't so bad? Hey, it isn't the size of the man that matters. We're all the same height on our backs. And I'm going to have you on your back, screaming for me to stop in a matter of moments. <laughs> Wait, that sounded very wrong, but also evil. Which is I? Don't threaten you with a good time. Oh, I will threaten you with a good time, Ember. The most deliciously violent time. Time for our fateful battle. You've been wanting to get your hands on me for years, as you've stubbornly foiled my plans. But not this time. Your reckoning has finally arrived, Flame of Justice. Soon you will be nothing but a little ember underneath me, wriggling and writhing and gasping for breath as you moan out in. I'm talking about when I kill you, you fool! Oh, just shut your trap and fight me already! <sighs> Marvelous. <laughs> You really are the fire of justice, aren't you? I see why my legion have always struggled against you. But you are not on my level. <sighs> I already seem out of breath. Ha! Don't get cocky. I haven't blown my load yet. Wait, I meant to reach my limit! Your body may be rocking, but don't flatter yourself, you spandex-wearing slag bag. I'm going to take the fire and burn you alive with it. Come! Not in that way! <sighs> I thought you were the pure of mind one. Come on! <sighs> Damn it. 
You really do know how to fight, don't you? But your magic is lacking. You walk straight into my trap. <laughs> You're surrounded by dark pulses. One click of my fingers and they'll smash you from every direction. <laughs> it's been fun, little Ember, but it's time to die. What? Why don't I look around me? I don't want to take my eyes off of your final moment, superhero. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm surrounded by your fireballs! When did that happen? You use my arrogance to lure me in? Oh, that's not fair! You can't copy me! Well then, I suppose it's time for the final climax, Ember! Let's both explode at the same time and see who lasts the longest! What are you giggling at now? Oh, just fucking die, you filthy minded harlot! Ah! 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 <sighs> Ouch! That hurt! Your fire really does suck, woman! But you're hurting too, and both our magic is running dry. Now that you're dry, <laughs> I'm going to stick you with... With my knife, Ember! My knife! Oh, bugger this! Just die already! Ha <laughs> ha! Got you! Now I can watch your life fade from your eyes up close and personal. Feel your breath quicken and slow down to nothing as you lie perfectly still. What? What did you just say? Is that my knife in my pocket? Or am I just happy to see you? A bit of both, really. You have the prettiest mouth. It'll look even prettier with smothered in your blood. That's what I was going to say. No, not with that! How did you not get expelled from Superhero Academy with a mouth like that? I'm cute when I'm... I'm cute when annoyed. Oh, I'm going to kill you! <laughs> oh, bollocks. I'm knackered. Ugh. For those who are listening, we are currently both laying on the floor, completely out of energy. Seems we are equally matched, little Ember. <sighs> Just give me a few minutes. <sighs> I'll roll over and choke you to death in a moment. <sighs> the sky does look rather lovely tonight, though, doesn't it? Why do I... what? Why do I do such villainous things? Because I'm a villain, duh. But why? Family expectations. Dark, treacherous upbringing that conditioned me to the dark side. You know, the usual. It's no excuse to do such villainous things. Well, I'm a villain, duh. It's no excuse. Perhaps not, but it's a reason. I love being evil, and everyone in my legion are paid a good wage. It's a legit company. I'm helping the economy, but my business is risking the welfare of the planet. So like many other companies then, I don't see you using your powers to take down BP or Shell. I don't know. I just find it fun. But I must be honest, Ember. Before you die... I've never had this much fun before in my life. Fighting you, and now laying here looking up at the night sky. Beast the thrill of any past evil deed I've ever done. So quit. Never! I have other villains relying on me. Uh, 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 oh, hello. Seems you've recovered your stamina first. Um... Ember... Threatening me to give up my evil ways 
or you'll have no choice but to burn a hole in my chest. Would be more frightening if you weren't mounting me like this. I'm supposed to be scared. Well, how can I be? Look at you. I've got the slutty Power Ranger pinning me down. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I make one last act of heroism in my last moments and remove my hormones? No, that isn't possible, you fool. I think you're liking this too, pinning me down to the ground. <laughs> because, you know, when a lady gets excited... <gasps> hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. All that is always a sign too. Mm. Mm. You'll what? You'll do me a deal. Wow. If I give up being a supervillain, you'll fight me again whenever I want to. And we can look at the sky like this again. What kind of silly deal is that? Or you can just kill me now. Ah, 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 that burns! Okay, 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 that burns! Oh, shit. I didn't realize how being burned like that hurt. I can't just change my ways, Ember, and I won't. But I have certainly enjoyed this. And I don't particularly want to miss out on experiencing it again. But I can't promise I won't try again. So how about this? You let me go. And I won't level you with my death curse. I'm flocked eyes with you, darling. If you kill me now, then I will use my last moments to place a curse on you. It's not trickery. It's a stalemate. So, why don't we call this a draw and live to fight again? Gods, you do have lovely eyes, don't you, Amber? Well, make a decision, Amber. Because if we don't kill each other now, the sexual bloody tension will. Deal? You can't just let me go. It isn't what a hero does. Fine. If we call a truce now, I won't commit any evil scheming until we meet again. Deal? Good. Now get off of me. Oh, there. Composure regained. Oh. Hmm. So, Ember, whilst we're lying here... Do you, you know, fancy going for a coffee sometime? <laughs> oh, my dear creations, you've come into this world to serve me. I molded you to my very design and shape to my desires. Before I burn you into infernal oblivion. <laughs> Enjoy your final moments. For soon you will be thrown into the abyss forever. <laughs> That's it. Burn. Burn. <laughs> Good morning, my darling Ember. Did you sleep well? Your pancakes are ready. 